Have you ever had a neighbor tell you you're too loud while partying? That you need to bring it down a notch? Well, here's a story that takes place in Battle Creek, Michigan, where two tenants whose partying led them to be killed by their landlord. Tenants and landlords have two alternate perspectives. That's a fact. In most cases, they are two opposing forces pushing against each other, aside from when there is a property manager in place. In those instances, both sides still push at each other, but the PM takes the majority of the heat. More specifically though, a mom and pop landlord tends to have a more direct relationship with their tenant. When it comes down to the relationship between the two, they each have their own motivations. The landlord is looking to run a business and make money, while the tenant is looking for a nice yet affordable place to live. On October 12th of 2020, the Battle Creek Police Department was notified that two tenants, Joshua Soule and Jacqueline Leopard, had been reported missing. The last time they had been seen was on Wednesday, October 7th of 2020. These two tenants were living in their landlord, Chad Allen Reeds, upstairs at 203 Post Avenue. As the investigation continued, on October 13th, suspicion continued to rise that this may be more than a missing person case as authorities gathered more information from friends and families. In a news press given by Detective Case later that week on Thursday, he stated the following about the case. From everybody that we've talked to, friends and family, it sounds like they just had an ongoing dispute where they could not get along. They had arguments about money, they had arguments about you name it. So it was relatively common for Chad Allen Reeve to be complaining to people that he spoke to that he was annoyed by them, didn't get along with them. Friends also stated that he made the following comments. They like to party, keep them up late at night. He'd tell other people he had another bad night's sleep, and he couldn't sleep because of all the noise that was going on. Not long after, detectives ultimately received a tip that Reed had confessed to someone that he had killed the couple and hidden their bodies. A short time later, that same day, Reed showed up at the police station. Chad Allen Reed indicated that there was originally a verbal altercation between him and Joe. He claimed that Joe pulled a knife on him, and in self-defense, he drew a gun and shot and killed Joe. After seeing that, Jackie tried running from the residence, at which time he ended up shooting her as well. He also did say that he followed her into the backyard and proceeded to beat and strangle her until she ended up passing away in the backyard. Reed told investigators he wrapped up the bodies in plastic and hid them in the back of his pickup truck, where he left them parked outside his house for a few days. As family members and friends started coming over and checking on them, or looking for them, he decided that he needed to move the bodies. Reed had moved his truck to an abandoned garage about a block away from his home. That is where authorities then recovered the bodies that Thursday. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.